All right, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. They do it big here in Houston, and a second ago, it was a Texas-sized welcome for their hometown guys. They're fired up and ready to go as they get set to match up with Marcus Mariota and the Tennessee Titans. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Now a play fake here on first down. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. Thomas, the intended target, and it's second down. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. Throwing again on second and 10. Watson looking again for Thomas, this time complete. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. Play action from Miller. Now Watson. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And finally brought down at the 43. Where they convert on third with a gain of 22. He's come a long way since his time at Georgia Tech. What did he run at Tech? He ran hitches and, and go routes, essentially. Yeah. I mean, but he ran them really well. He averaged well over 20 yards a catch while he was there. And he still creates downfield in the NFL. That big body and that willingness to go catch the football. He's pretty impressive. And his friends call him Bebe, the nickname his uncle gave him back in the day. Throw right side into the hands of Akins. 23 yards on the play. So four plays, Charles, all passes here on the opening drive and already in the red zone. And even if you're planning for them to throw the football a lot, on the opening drive, if they go four for four on you, you're off balance on defense. I, I've been there before. And part of you keeps thinking, they've got to run it at some point, right? They've got them really mixed up at this point. If I were them, I'd keep pressing the advantage. They're throwing it really well. Watson now to throw. Throwing right side, that's complete. Demarius Thomas, seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. On the ground, this is Lamar Miller. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. One man in the backfield, that's Miller, second and goal. To throw is Watson. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. The pro bowler DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. And that'll make it third down. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. A shotgun snap for Watson. And this is going to be incomplete. What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. Kaimi Fairbair now to attempt the Texan field goal. 
from the left hash, a chip shot here. Fairbairn able to put this one through. And it's now 3-0, Texans. Fairbairn now following the made field goal. He'll send this one away. This fielded at the two. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Football turned back over to Tennessee's offense. And if you look at this season on the whole, they really... I guess haven't gotten the kind of production they'd hoped for from Mariota, Derrick Henry. I, I know you've been a big Mariota guy, Charles. How do, you, how do you assess how he's played through the first half plus of the season? Not up to his potential. Not up to what you would expect from the number two pick in his draft class. He and Jameis Winston tied it to hip that way. Winston, the number one guy. They don't ring the bell often enough throwing the football. And he's been playing in a run-based system for a while now. You would think their ability to throw the ball would be much improved has not been that way. Now, they did lose their leading receiver over the last four years, Delaney Walker, in week one. He was their tight end, but they just had trouble scoring. Only top 21 points once in the first half of the season. Deion Lewis, the first carry for the expatriate, and he stopped immediately there. Tackle made by Whitney Merciless. All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. On third and one, here's Mariota. And that is incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It was way too tight, unable to find anyone open. On fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. And this will be taken at the 13. <laughs> Good blocking there, nearly sprung him. As it is, it'll go as a 19-yard return. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. The Houston Texans, Charles, they had that 0-3 start, and then they got hot. And I don't know, maybe it's because of that slow start. Is that why we're not hearing as much about them as a contender this year? I think that is a huge part of it. In addition, Kansas City's been so exciting and winning a lot of games. New England is New England, and they play high-profile games and win them. The Chargers, they've been on the scene a little bit because Philip Rivers is so recognizable. And, of course, Pittsburgh now getting back in form. So you're right. When they were 0-3, they were pretty much buried. But remember what their quarterback, Deshaun Watson, said at that time, we're going to get this thing right. Don't jump on the bandwagon then. Jump on it now because we're going to be pretty darn good. And he was so correct. They keep it on the ground. This time, it's Miller. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. They get 14 on that one. Good for a Houston first down. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there, making the defense think it's going to be a pass. They go play action here on first down. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Second and five after the five yard completion on first down. Off of play action, it's Watson. He's going to air one out. And they went for a big play 
threw the air on second down, couldn't connect. Now it's third. The strong windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Out of the gun, Watson. Fighting through. And this is going to be incomplete. And that's a crusher right there. Had his man open for a first down. Threw a fastball when that wasn't necessary. Incomplete pass. When are these quarterbacks going to learn? You don't get extra points for how hard you throw the football. The Texans send the punter out, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. The Titans offense now, they get set to head back out here. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? They'll start things on first down with Deion Lewis. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Four down, four down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. <laughs> and he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. First down, Titans gain of 12. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers, and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. Mariota now to throw on first down. Throw taken in by Taylor left side. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a second and 11. <laughs> now it's a bootleg with Mariota. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Brandon Dunn forcing his way through there to drop him for a loss of a good 10 yards. Well, you don't usually get a sack from a nose tackle spot, but we got one there. No, we don't. And a lot of the times in passing situations, they end up off the field anyway. So how happy was he to work his way back to the quarterback and put him on the ground? He's going to end up with a nickname after something like that, some big jelly or something like that. <laughs> Mariota. Going for the deep ball. And a shot taken on third down, unsuccessful. Fourth down now. I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities. But that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time. Yeah, first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. This is taken at the 15. Great blocking on the return. It springs him for 25. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. The Texans offense now, they get set to head back onto the field. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. On second down, here's Watson. 
Griffin's got it, middle of the field. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 13 yards on his first catch. It's a first down as well. As far as tight ends go, this guy's not a speed burner. He's much more of an inline blocking type of a tight end. But how about this last play? Made a nice catch and picked up the first down. That's what impresses me about him. When he's called upon, usually gets it done. On first down, it's Watson. And he'll find Aikens there, complete. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now Watson. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line. Or Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it, it's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is, because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Hey, green, the line. Green, the line. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and it's Texans football as we get going in quarter number two. But they face a second and long to start things out. Here's Watson. And Thomas has it. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. The Texans on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. Watson, off play action. He's going to float this one deep right side. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. In for the score. And the Texans will add on to their lead. Sometimes those tight ends are a mismatch. They found the mismatch there. And that's exactly why you want to drop those types of plays, because coverage is just going to go to the natural guys, the guys that make the big plays on the outside. But if you work your tight end into it, that's a tough one for a defense to handle. Tough, they couldn't handle it. It worked out for six. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And the lead grows to 10 0. Fairbairn now to kick this one away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Titans offense now, they get ready to do battle again here. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, Everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Mariota on first down. He'll get this to his tight end. It's Jonu Smith. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. 
And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. First down, Mariota. It's caught on the right side of Smith. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First down, Titans gain of 12. It is hard in zone coverage to stop a curl route because when they see it, they just try and find the open spot and sit down. Yeah, we always talk about finding the soft spot in the zone. What's the key to doing that? How do you do it? You have to read what the coverage is. Is it too deep? Is it three deep? Because then you know where the linebackers are going to drop, what spots on the field they naturally get to, and you find that open space, and then you're in sync with your quarterback. He should be reading the exact same thing and they put the ball right on you. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Now Lewis, and only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts, being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. Flush, and he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. The four-time All-Pro, J.J. Watt. And that's going to make it fourth down. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the Scrambler or the Dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. Suck up now, set to kick it off, following the made field goal. This will be taken in at the one. And a good return up past the 30, but was it aided by an illegal block or a hold? Let's see. So holding will scratch off some of that return. And I know fans get frustrated when they see penalties of this sort on kick returns, but it is difficult to do it right against these moving targets at full speed. Hard to do. The holding penalty and negates a good return as they'll start just past the 20. Now a first down throw. Watson underneath for Miller. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Now a play fake here on first down. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Watch.
Watson now 12 of 17 through the air as he leads his guys up on first down. Play action from Miller. Now Watson. And nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. On second down, here's Miller. Well, they get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. Nice job there defensively on third down. Not only did they string the play out, but they didn't allow any room for a cutback. Really well organized on the defensive side. The Texans on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four. From the gun, here's Watson. Man open, that's Kiki QT complete. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. His first catch, good for nine in the first down. First down carry now for Miller. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. A gain of three, second down. I think you mentioned in the opening drive that these guys needed to establish the run, protect the young QB. I actually wrote that down, believe it or not. So how would you assess things so far? I'm kind of touched that you actually wrote something like that down. <laughs> I appreciate that, partner. But I do think they've been able to do that. Maybe not as effectively as they've wanted to, but I think we'll see more of as this game goes along because they want to continue to take care of that young QB. Now it's Watson. The hook up on the right side to Hopkins. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. The reception good for seven. It's third down. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. Watson on third down. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage, so they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. They'll try and run for it with Miller. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. They'll give it to him up the middle. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. Seven big yards on the carry there to get him within range of the goal line with third down upcoming. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Flush, and it's a touchdown. Deshaun Watson with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Texans will extend their lead. That was not a designed run. It was supposed to be a pass, but it turned into an exceptional run. What a scramble for a touchdown. Fairbairn now to add the extra point. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and the lead is now 17-3.
Fairbairn now to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. Here's the Titan offense now as they make their way back onto the field. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out. And by a few inches, that'll be a first down. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. They'll run it now out of the gun. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. A first down throw for Mariota. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Smith. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. and 10. Here's Mariota. Over the middle to Smith. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Working out of the gun, Mariota. And Davis with it left side. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. Mariota now, 8 of 11 in this first half. He's got it first and 10. Mariota again. Smith catches left side. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. got a yard out of that last completion and that makes this second and nine they'll throw again Mariota and he's gonna be taken down back around the 35 yard line and now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one
Mariota will need a big play after the sack as the Titans come up third and long. From the gun, Mariota. Throw left side, complete to Sharp. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. He hit his first one, this from 44 yards out now. And Suckup will put this one right through. And a second field goal here gets him back with an 11 now. It's 17 to 6. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. Suckup now set to kick it off following the made field goal. This is taken at his four. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. And now out comes Houston. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. Hey, 22. They'll start the drive with a give to Foreman. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. Ah, uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. So we've reached halftime here on a Thanksgiving night. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. And the Titans getting set to go. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But, but this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Seven catches for him now, and this last one, a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Mariota now, 12 of 15, throwing the ball. 80% so far, and it's first and 10. Now Mariota over the middle. That's caught by Taylor. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Give him nine there on the first down completion. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. 
Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. Doesn't look to be any confusion here as they come up now on a second and six following the delay of game. Again, it's Mariota. Over the middle, Sharks got it complete. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Mariota to Sharp that time for a Titan first. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver. That makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Got a man right side. It's Sharp. And I think the ball's out. And the Texans say they have it. They do. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 23 yards on the play. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. On first down, it's Watson. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. A shotgun snap for Watson. Griffin's got it, middle of the field. And he gets it down to the 32. That catch good for five. It's third down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter, it's a good running back dive play. The Texans on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This will be third and 15. Out of the gun, Watson. It's complete to Hopkins. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. But we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered. But how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I think we'll hear about that from him soon. They go play action here on first down. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Jordan Akins, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Texans will add on to their lead. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. Fairbairn now to kick this one away. This is taken at his four. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah, yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. 
The throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Changing topics here for just a second to look ahead to our Thanksgiving slate. You, know, you got Chicago and Detroit early, but then, of course, Dallas late. And it's a rivalry game. They host Washington. Yeah, and how great is that that we're going to get that one on Thanksgiving because they've given us some memorable ones throughout the years. And it's always interesting to hear just how intense this rivalry is, even in today's NFL. I've talked to guys who have played for both Dallas and Washington. And they always say it's such a struggle when they hear they have to go to the other team. No matter what the circumstances, that's the one team that you don't want to go play for. And they always say it's very strange to put on that other uniform. <laughs> Whoever wins that game, the turkey will taste a lot better in the locker room after. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. That's another nice run, and I have to tell you, some of the coaches that I played for, their philosophies were always different when they see a guy running the ball well. Some of them wanted to immediately go to play action and throw it now because it's wide open. While other coaches said, you know something? Until they stop him, that big boy's going to keep getting the football. And that might be the direction that they're going to go right now. Now they'll run with Lewis. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be second and 11. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. time not quite to the 30 it'll be down at the 31 yard line it'll be a pickup of 10 yards and that'll make it third down look the first down marker is out there but sometimes it's hard to find for an offense when they're in a long yardage situation which usually means throw the football in this case they went against the tendency and ran it and boy the reward was there a big big pickup and guess what it's now third and very short in order to try and pick up the first down he's going to flip one out here to his running back a good pick up there of 20 yards we can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn it's also a game of mismatches and they're trying to create one there getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play as we often say get it to him in space let him use his leg yeah if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz he's going to win that battle just about every time that's going to set him back five yards Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. Mariota. And he's got it. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. As his guys are in for six. And the Titans are able to close the gap just a bit. Ryan suck up on for the point after. Extra point up and good by Suckup. And that makes it Here's Suck up out to kick it away. 
Fielded about a yard deep. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And now out comes Houston. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that, they had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. The big man, Jarrell Casey, in on the stop. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Here's Watson now on second down. Caught left side, Hopkins. 16 yards on that one, and also a Texan first down. And the hitch route has run really well. That jab step off the line of scrimmage by the receiver, which is designed to back up the defender and give him a little bit of space. All you want there, get that space, catch the football, and then make a move and pick up extra yardage. And that's exactly what he got done there. Watson going to give this one to Miller. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Down! Back 22! From the 50, it's Watson. His throw incomplete. He was trying to hit Thomas that time, and it's third down. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot, but they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. Throwing on third down, Watson. Throw left side, complete to QT. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness is a premium for all of that now. They go back to the ground now with Miller. Finding room to the 20. And finally taken down at the 15. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. They keep it with Miller on first down. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. Now a run. This is Alfred Blue. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. The six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. They'll try the air now with Watson. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans. Demarius Thomas, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Texans will extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. 
and they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Bear now to kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get sent to take the field. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's we'll see what they decide to do. Mariota and the Titans break the huddle first and 10 at their own 22. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. Takes this to the 27. Give him four yards. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Back now in Houston, it's Titan football here as they trail to begin the fourth quarter. <laughs> Mariota now on second down. Wide open receiver complete. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. Now, that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Throwing, Mariota forced out to his left. Finding some room at midfield. And he's going to get this into enemy territory at the 45. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 45-yard line. To throw is Mariota. Going underneath for Lewis. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. It's a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it a second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Mariota now. Escaping the pressure right. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Mariota had an 87-yard run as a rookie. This one a bit less, but it is a first down. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you got to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. To throw Mariota, and it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. On second down, Mariota again. Over the middle, complete. It's Taylor. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. The Titans efficient passing on this drive. There's another first down. One thing I can say pretty safely, 
that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong arm guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. one They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. No gain on that run, and while this team is down, they're not out of it by any stretch of the imagination. Maybe you just have to think about different style of running in order to get this guy going. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. He's going to get it running right. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Deion Lewis, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Titans are able to cut into that deficit. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. Now here's Suck about to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Heading out is the Texans offense as they get set to take over here. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Back 22. Now a play fake here on first down. Throw right side into the hands of Akins. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Alert, alert. Hey, back. Tenth carry now for Lamar Miller, and he'll get this up only to about the 33. Wesley Woodyard there on the tackle. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. The Texans on third down. Can't fault these numbers. Seven for nine thus far. Here it's third and two. Play action for Miller. Now Watson. Eluding the pressure right. He can run for it, and he will. They get 14 on that one. Good for a Houston first down. That is an absolute backbreaker. That was a design passing play. Wasn't a draw. You think you got him stopped. Good coverage downfield. And he's able to pick up the first with his legs. Defensively, that kicks into your psyche and hurts a little bit, doesn't it? It certainly does. And, and here's the thing. Anytime you give up a first down, it hurts you psychologically. But it hurts more when they get it this way. Because you've covered everything. He didn't have any place to throw the football. He takes off running and picks it up anyway. And now you have to stay on the field for an extra set of downs. And really could have used that stop trailing here in the fourth. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Green the line. Green the Throwing again is Watson. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. And that one results in 35 yards. 
He's played a great game. It continues right there, even with this lead, confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish. Because strategy would tell you, run the football, run the clock down. Instead, they're letting him throw it because they feel that confident in what he's getting done. That is caught inside the five. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Deshaun Watson, four touchdown passes now in the ball game. And the Texans will add on to their lead. On for the PAT, Kaimi Fairbear. Extra point by Fairbear and up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. Fairbairn now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Out come the Titans now. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. A first down throw for Mariota. Sets up the screen to Lewis. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards picking up the first. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Mariota on first down. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. He's lucky to be getting that one back. After what they've done with him all day long with all the targets trying to go after him, he's obviously gotten smart, and his pride has kicked in. Made a terrific play. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. A second down throw here for Mariota. Smith catches left side. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. They'll get nine there as that sets them up better for third down. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. On third and one, here's Mariota. And that's caught by Smith. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. Pretty heavy traffic over the middle on that one, and somehow he emerged with the football. Way to possess it, despite all the extra contact and people around him. So a first and ten now in Houston territory at the 48-yard line. Mariota again, and that's incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it, Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. To the air again, Mariota complete. Smith has it. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. The Titans on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. Here it's third and three. They'll throw again. Mariota dumps it off to Lewis. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage, 
back at the 43-yard line. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way. Lost yardage. No, for some reason, it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you <laughs> move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't it? But in this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized, executed well, and you caused a lost yardage play. That's going to feel good and look great in film. And he's going to go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. The former number one overall pick, Jadevian Clowney, in there to drop him for his second sack now here tonight. They'll start out on the ground. It's Lamar Miller, and he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, second down. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. They'll run with Miller, and they'll get him down here at about the 42. They get nine yards back on the run there, and they're left with a much more makeable third and two. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. Third and two, Watson. And he finds his man, Griffin. Five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Here's a give to Miller. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Again, it's Miller. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Ten yards there, good enough for a Texan first down. Well, that looked like an example of what you said back in the first half. A running back of his size can really wear down a defense. I think he's starting to do that. I think you're exactly right. And know what else he's doing? He's inspiring the rest of his team because they see this starting to happen as well. So that means they're going to redouble their efforts to help him out. Extra blocking, getting downfield, helping him out. Now a handoff to Miller. There he goes again. And finally taken down at the four-yard line. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Well, I know at points in this one you wanted to close your eyes because of all the points that were being put on the scoreboard, you're a defensive guy, but it was a fun little track meet, wasn't it? It was, and you know the people who really enjoyed this game? They're the ones that like going to batting practice at the Major League Baseball <laughs> parks, right? Seeing the 14 to 11 game, that sort of deal, that's right up their alley with what we saw in this one. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Texans as we say so long from Houston.